Road trips in your Ford EV were easy with the Blue Oval charge network, but this one change just added over 12,000 charging stations, making it even easier. The collab we didn't know we needed just happened. Ford Motor Company and Tesla Motors reached an agreement that will provide Ford EV customers access to more than 12,000 Tesla superchargers across the United States and Canada. I've done some videos on Ford's Blue Oval network and trip planner. The Ford EV can plan your next stops depending on your range and your usage. You could actually choose in-network chargers from Ford or out-of-network chargers. Now this was a feature that was handy, especially if you're traveling really long distances and need to pre-plan your stop so you can get that optimum charging. The longer the distance, the more range anxiety. This merger brings that range anxiety way down. And Ford CEO Jim Farley said, widespread access to fast charging is absolutely vital to our growth as an EV brand. And this breakthrough agreement comes as we are ramping up our production of our popular Mustang Mach-E and F-150 Lightning and preparing to launch a series of next generation EVs starting in 2025, which is right around the corner. The Blue Oval Charge Network is already North America's largest public charging network with over 84,000 chargers, including 10,000 public DC fast chargers. This merger adds more than 12,000 Tesla superchargers, making this the single largest integrated fast charge network across the US and Canada. It looks like the future of travel is changing. Will gas stations be a thing of the past? Can you imagine an EV station the size of a Bucky's filled with nothing but fast chargers? So if you're a Ford EV owner, you know the charging connectors are different between Ford and Tesla. For example, Ford uses a CCS port and Tesla uses an NACS port. CCS stands for Combined Charging System and NACS stands for North American Charging Standard. According to Motor Trend, Ford will include NACS connectors in its EV starting in 2025. This will also allow those vehicles to use Tesla chargers without an adapter. Starting in 2024, F-150 Lightning, Mach-E, and E-Transit owners will be able to access Tesla superchargers, but those vehicles will still need to utilize an adapter and the Ford Pass app for payment. This is important because when it comes to the EV space, it is still very new to some of us, and we might not know that you need different connectors or adapters at different charging stations. We've been able to go to every gas station and every gas pump is pretty much the same. And this merger seems to be the first step in standardizing EV charging. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Now let's shift some gears into the future of EVs. The Lightning is the pickup truck. The Mach-E is the Mustang crossover and the E-Transit is the package workhorse, but there still isn't a full size three row SUV EV Yet, Ford's three-row electric SUV is in the works and Ford says it's going to be unlike anything in the segment. According to Motor Trend, the expedition-sized EV will debut in 2025. The new EV will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the electric Cadillac Escalade IQ. But the Ford will be more affordable, longer, sleeker, and quieter with great interior space, seating up to seven passengers. Ford CEO Jim Farley calls this a Millennium Falcon with a back porch. All right, guys, it's time for my favorite parts, the comments. So on this video, a closer look at our Raptor swapped Lightning suspension. You can check that out right here. Andreas Garcia says, does the Blue Cruise still work after the Raptor upgrade? I'm thinking about adding a small lifting kit and bigger tires in the Lightning. Yes, all the features on the Ford Lightning still work as they should. Your range, your Blue Cruise, your Ford Charge Network, your Pass app, everything works as it should the only thing is is that it's a little taller and you can go over some bigger uh curbs if you'd like all right guys that's gonna wrap up today's video do me a favor guys if you like these videos hit that like button lets us know we're doing a good job and if you have any questions as always drop them down in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe until next time guys peace out